I had to pull myself off the couch, wake myself up a little bit, and force myself to come and make this video. Hi everybody, welcome back, Cheryl here. I um, just wanted to do a quick kind of check in with everybody because I don't think I'll have time any other day this week. So welcome back. If you are new here, please go and hit that subscribe button to all of my wonderful um, viewers and commenters. Welcome back, so thrilled to have you here. So today is um, Wednesday, May 8th, and <clears throat> we are not quite two full weeks down on um, Manjara, uh, sorry, Zepbound 5 milligrams. So last Thursday, I took two 2.5 milligram injections of Zepbound. So 2.5. Last week, I took two injections in my stomach of 2.5. I waited until Sunday of last week. So that would have been, so my first injection of five milligrams, which was two 2.5s, was April 25th. My second injection was May 5th of five milligrams. This was my first single dose five milligram injection. And those two doses were 10 days apart. So I had stretched my dosage as long as I could because I was getting nervous um, with the shortages and everything. So I stretched it out. Not so sure I'm gonna do that again, at least not right now. I would like to eventually be able to stretch my doses as much as I can. Um, with that being said, I have not really lost since Sunday. So four days um, on this shot. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's 7.15 at night. On Wednesday, um, and I've kind of just been back and forth with the same like pound and a half for the last few days. So right now I'm pretty much exactly where I was um, within 0.2 pounds or so of last, last week. So, I mean, that's not you know, not terrible, It, but um, for five milligrams and going up, I was kind of hoping for more. However, I can't really be upset about it because I have made some bad choices in the last couple of days. So um, as I stated earlier, it is Teacher Appreciation Week and our parent association has been in the school doing all the things. So Monday they brought in lunch and there was um, chicken parm and eggplant and pasta and more pasta and bread and salad and wraps. However, I did only have a piece of chicken parm and a piece of eggplant plum, parm. I didn't do all the things. I didn't have any um, dessert with that. There was cupcakes. I didn't eat that. And then yesterday, our principals bought cakes from a local chain restaurant here that has phenomenal cake. They were cut into nice small pieces, so it wasn't a massive piece, but I did have a piece of cake at lunch yesterday, even though I just had a piece of chicken. So I only had a piece of chicken, which was left over from the day before. So again, I had the chicken parm, not a lot of cheese, not a lot of breading. It was pretty much chicken and um, sauce with a little bit of cheese on it. So I mean, it, it wasn't the worst thing ever, but it what I packed lunch, it wasn't what I ate. So then today <laughs> I had packed my lunch because I didn't eat it yesterday, so I still had it. And my beautiful friend made me an eggplant um, parm sandwich. So eggplant on two slices of Italian bread. And um, she made me banana bread. So actually, um, I did have the eggplant parm for lunch today. And then I had some grapes. I didn't eat any of the cookies or other treats that the parents had brought in. Um, 
and Friday is my is breakfast that they're providing and I changed my order today to black coffee and yogurt with fruit so I'm, I'm trying it's just it's been a little harder with it in front of me um than it had been in the past two months so I found that a little strange like the past couple of months I was like I'm fine I didn't I didn't really give things a second thought and I started the five milligrams higher dosage and it's been a lot harder to fight those urges and um, get out of my own head. So I haven't been making as good of a choices, as good of choices, and I haven't been tracking as much. It's And I'm, it's not that I'm not. I, I'll track it later. Usually I kind of like track everything ahead of time, which I, I mean, I guess I'm kind of still doing, but I don't know. The week has been, it's been a little busier. I've had meetings all week. Um, I have a meeting tomorrow night. So there's just been a lot going on. So, and I'm not trying to make excuses. I just, you know, I've been a little off track. Not terrible. I, I don't really think I've made like any really bad choices other than, you know, what I've just said to you. And I don't think it's terrible because I hadn't eaten a ton of other stuff throughout the day. So, um you know, I still, I haven't gone over 1500 calories at all. I haven't snacked at night. So I was still a little surprised, I think, with the fact that, um, but I'm, I'm thinking somebody did make a karma, uh, I can't talk today. Someone did make a comment about carbs and sugars. And um, I do think it may be the carbs because the other night when I had, um, I'd made sandwiches for dinner and that bread must have just really sat with me and it was making me really uncomfortable. And um, I gained that that night. And I didn't, that was like the one big thing I had. Like I didn't go really overboard with calories that day. And I gained throughout the night. And then I had, um, I had a sandwich again today. So I'm not expecting that, the, you know, the scale is going to be kind to me tomorrow because I did. I mean, it wasn't huge. They were just small pieces of Italian bread with a piece of eggplant in the middle. But that was two pieces of bread. Um, and I didn't want to be rude because, Mary, I love you and I love your cooking. And she usually watches my videos and supports me. Um, and she's just a wonderful human who I absolutely adore. And she's a phenomenal cook. And she cooks for me and bakes for me and my son. Um... So yeah, I'm I'm a little surprised going up to the five. I thought I'd have like this, ah, and this magical, wonderful, um, you know, couple of weeks where I'd have great losses and all the suppression and no food noise, and I'd be like, yes, this is what I've been waiting for, and that did not happen. Possibly because of my injection site, I'm not sure. Um, so last week or Sunday, I had my husband do the back of my arm over, he did it like right about here. Um, and that was my first time in the arm. And I've heard a lot of people say, you know, how great the arm is. And they had, sorry guys, you know what time it is, that they've had such great luck with the arm and blah, blah, blah. So I, I wanted to give that a try. I'm going to have to go with no, um, I don't know for sure if it's just the fact that now I'm two weeks in on the five, if it is the arm, if it's the crappy weather, because here we are again, it's 50 degrees and raining. Um, it was 77 yesterday, yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday it was 77 and beautiful. Today it's 50 and raining and we're freezing. So, um, New England weather is always, so much fun. You just never freaking know what's going to happen. So I don't know if it's that, but I am exhausted. Um, I went to bed and fell asleep by 10 o'clock last night. When 5.53 came and the alarm went off, I wanted to just poke my eyes out. I was, I was tired and I've been tired all day. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. So I'm, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's, you know, the combination of crappy things that I've been doing, if it was the injection site, if it's the weather, if it's, you know, our testing season that is going on at work, I'm not really sure. But, you know, we'll see. I will definitely keep you guys updated. But I think I will go back to um, stomach and thigh um, for the weeks coming ahead. 
So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I am curious, you know, how you guys have fared with your different injection sites. Has anybody had phenomenal um, success with their with their arm? Because some of the other YouTubers that I watch personally have had great results with their arm. And now it's funny because I know Allie on one of the channels that I watch, um, she's had great success in her arm and usually does her thighs and she's been doing her stomach and she has just been, it's been horrible for her. She's been absolutely exhausted. And I'm kind of having the opposite. I usually do my stomach, I did my arm and I have just been exhausted. So maybe our body kind of gets used to other things too but I've said it before everybody's different we just that's one thing that everybody needs to remember is we are all different nobody's the same nobody's story is the same nobody's symptoms are the same nobody's side effects are the same nothing 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 is um is the same so just keep that in mind when you see people's success stories and you see this and you see that because, you know, we just, nobody's, nobody's the same. We all have to, to have our own, our own story. So, um, you know, it is what it is. So let's go on to my text message yesterday. So I was finishing up dinner. My phone went off. I looked at my messages and I had a text message from Walmart. So I clicked on it and my prescription was ready to be picked up. So I looked into it and it didn't tell me the milligrams, which is weird because I found that before, like another pharmacy that I was using, even for my son's medicine, it would just tell me that I have a prescription ready, but it wouldn't even tell me what or for which person I would go there. I'd be like, I don't know. Is it mine? My husband's my son, my other son? Like, could you be more specific, please? So I didn't know what I knew it was that bound, but I didn't know what. So I got there and um, the woman said, I'm confused. She said, what are you here to pick up? And I'm thinking, oh my God, there was a mistake. No. And I said, my Zep bound. And she said, yeah, but which one? And I said, I'll take whatever you've got. And she said, I have them both. She said, but your thing's kind of messed up because I had a 2.5 that I had had to call in when we didn't have the five. So there was a 2.5 and there was a five. And I said, well, I've been waiting for six or seven weeks for the for the five and she said well it's here I just filled it and I was like I'll take it she said well then I have to cancel your 2.5 and I said okay do what you have to do that's fine if um if I can't get five again next month then my doctor will call in whatever um and then she went and she got it out of the refrigerator and she came back with the box and she said I literally was putting this in the refrigerator when you walked in the door she said what were you in the parking lot and I said no I was home but the second I got the text message, I got in my car. Well, it wasn't the second. It was probably like a half an hour later. But I got there pretty quickly, um, which was kind of interesting because that told me then it took them a half an hour to put it into the refrigerator. But it was probably in a cold pack or something. Anyway, <clears throat> so as I was um, paying and checking out, the woman was doing my um, doing my order and the pharmacist was in the back and it's always the same woman. She's, she's a wonderful woman. And I've talked to her many times because I believe she was on one of the medications at one point. And, um, she said, oh, you're, she, she recognized me because I go in there. That's where I get all my stuff. And, um, you know, I'm in there asking about the, the medication and she's always very courteous and very kind. And she said, I said, I can't believe it came in. It's been, you know, going on two months. It's over a month and a half. And she said, unfortunately, we still shorted a bunch of people. And I, I, she said there was 22 people on the list. And I said, well, I, I, I know I was number 10 on this wait list. And she said, we only got 15. So they shorted seven people, but then they already had more people putting in their scripts. So she was saying that they were over 15 people still short. But they got 15 in yesterday, which seemed like a pretty big number. But I guess it's really not when you think that there were so many people on the list and I had been waiting forever. So now I'm thinking, great, do I have to wait now? 
the month to get on another wait list or can, so I'm thinking I'm going to call or maybe next time I go in the store the next week or so um I'll ask them but that would be some advice I have for you guys when you're calling your stores if you're not successful see if they have a wait list get on the wait list because when I was calling I called for about a at least a week maybe more and then everyone just kept saying no 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 and then when I spoke to this pharmacist, she said that she had a wait list. And I said, well, can I get on the wait list? And she said, yeah, let me, it, but they're not offering the wait list, guys. Um, I had to initiate it and I had to say I wanted to be on it. And then she put me on hold and then she got on the wait list and then she put me in the computer. And then not too long after that, I was in picking up something for my son and I had the woman at the counter double check to make sure that I was still on it and I hadn't been bumped off of it. So um, you really need to be advocating for yourself on these things. So if you are calling around, see if there's a wait list because I'm thinking people are calling and calling and calling, but if there's if you're if they have a wait list and there's other people on it, you're not going to get the medication anyway. So get your name on a list if they have a list. That was Walmart that was this one store. I don't know if that's any stores. Interestingly enough, the woman, the pharmacist who I was speaking to had said to me um, that someone had been in earlier picking up and said, can I fill for three months? And she was like, absolutely not. She said, we, this, this medication's in shortage. We can't fill three months. And I said, is that just you that can't fill three months? And she said, I don't think anybody can fill three months. And I said, well, I know that that's not true because, and I told her, I said, I have a YouTube channel. I do weekly updates. I said, and people on my channel have commented that they just got their three months. And people in support groups get three months all the time. And she said, do you know where? And I said, I know Express Scripts for sure because I see that one over and over and over again. And I had Caremark through CVS through my Blue Cross. They no longer do Express Scripts. They doubt now do Caremark. And my Caremark was trying to do it through my doctor's office, but my doctor's office was not returning the phone calls. Um, and that became like a whole thing. And now Caremark will no longer be doing it after Wednesday um, for three months prescriptions. So I did find it interesting that um, she didn't think that this was even plausible to be doing three months at all. And yet there are many people getting it from other places. So you really have to ask the questions. And it does seem that every pharmacy, every location does things differently. So when you're calling, just make sure that you're asking questions. Be kind, be courteous, and, um, and be asking the questions. So which brings me to a little bit of my advice for the day. So I know that there's been some questions about my boxes and, you know, how much I have because I've been freaking out, like all of us, about my medication. And I've seen a couple of comments like, you know, you have medication. So at one point, I did, I got my 2.5 and then I got 2.5 a month later, which was like three and a half weeks. I got my 2.5. Three days later, my doctor called in the five milligrams and it was filled three days later. So I picked it up. So then I kept that five. So I did the 2.5 for two months, okay? Then I got a third prescription because no five was in again. So I got a third box of 2.5. So when I got the third box of 2.5, I had a box of 2.5 and a box of five going into last month. I started the 2.5, the third box, opening it, having the two pens. So now I still have left two pens of 2.5, an open box of five, and the box I picked up yesterday. So at this point, I would have eight weeks it makes me feel a little bit better knowing that if I get into this predicament where it takes me six to seven weeks again, at least I will not run out. Does that make sense? 
And I would say if there is any possible way that you can stock up, do it. Um, obviously, if you're paying $1,300 out of pocket, pocket um, even the $550 that a lot of people are paying, that would be extremely difficult. If there is a way, especially if your insurance is covering it, um, I know I was able to, and that, you know, maybe that would be a way to try it. My insurance was covering the 2.5. Just over three weeks, I think 23 or 24 days, I was able to fill my 2.5 again. If you're able to do that, do it. And then if you're able to have your doctor call in another prescription, the, the doctor's going to do it because the doctor's going to understand. We need to get this medication when we can get it. And if we're the ones paying for it and the insurance is covering it, then why shouldn't we be getting the medication? And it's not that we're taking the medication from other people, guys. Please don't come at me. I'm not stealing this medication from other people. I'm trying myself also to keep my health in check. So I'm going to get these boxes at some point regardless, whether it's three weeks early or three weeks later, I'm still going to get these. I'm entitled to this medication. My insurance is covering this medication. I'm still going to get this medication. So if I can give myself a buffer, then I would suggest you do the same, especially if you're new and you're just starting out. Or if you're looking at this channel, considering what to do. I would never want to advise someone to wait on their health journey, but this might be the time to do it. Wait a month if you can, three weeks maybe. Um, I didn't, I jumped right in, but literally it was five seconds before this shortage happened when I started. If in hindsight, I would have also waited then if I knew that there was gonna be a problem and I was gonna be able to stockpile a little bit because um, it, it's stressful. It's, it's extremely stressful and discouraging when you're trying to lose weight and be healthy and make good choices and exercise and run your life and have a family and do all the things and also in the back of your mind stressing about this the whole time. So if there is a way that you can stockpile, even if it's the 2.5, then I would say go ahead and do it. And I will continue to do that um, as needed. If I have to get 2.5 again, even if it only gives me back to an alternating week or something, um, at least now I'm through the school year, which is the end of June. I, I'm going to make it through that. And, um, and then I'll have to, I'll have more time, you know, once the school year ends, if I have to be on the phone every single day or whatever the case may be. So, you know, that's just my, my advice to you right now, and obviously I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional, I don't pretend to play one on TV, um, talk to your doctor, ask your doctor, everybody's situation is different. I am not diabetic, I have chronic kidney disease, I do not have um, other life-altering ailments happening, so my situation is different than your situation. So please, you know, make sure that you are talking to other people and, you know, doing what obviously is right for you. I would never want to tell you to not take medication if the medication is um, life dependent for you. So I am very curious, what strengths are you guys at? Are you at five? Are you at 7.5? Um, how has it been going for you? How long has it taken you to get your medication? So for me, like I said, it was my, so my March 21st was when I got my first box of five. May 7th was when I got my, my next box. So um, there, it's been tricky. It, you know, there's, there's a lot of time in between there. So we're talking over six weeks to get um, from one box. 47 days is what it was. 47 days from one box to the next. Um, so, you know, I, I'm curious how everybody else is doing, what your plan of action has been. Um, like I've said before, compounding is, it's not off the table, but it kind of is, at least right now. Um, financially, it's just not something I can do. 
that might change in the future. Um, maybe the prices will come down. Maybe something will happen. I'm not opposed to it. I'm terrified of the thought of um, the different needle. This needle doesn't bother me. This needle is almost microscopic. I don't feel it. It's instant. Um, I don't see it. I don't have to press the needle into my skin. That kind of freaks me out a little bit. So, um, and I have always said, I don't know what I would do if I was diabetic because I don't know that I could do that every day. And I'm not afraid of needles. Um, you know, I can get a needle, I can have blood drawn, all of that. But to do it myself, I don't know. Like, I don't even think I could do phlebotomy or nursing or anything like that where I would be the one actually doing it. My grandmother used to ask me to to do hers for her when she was, you know, she was diabetic and I was like in my 20s and I couldn't do it. And she used to have me practice on an orange given the orange and I, I I don't know it's it's a weird thing because like I said I'm not adverse to medical things um but something about putting the needle in I just I haven't been able to do it so um yeah again I want to just encourage anyone who here is um maybe new or um you know hasn't been around the whole time I've had some comments about um I've had different comments on different videos where people be watching like a specific video and then um, say something or ask a question. So if you go down into the playlist below, guys, there's um, the whole process from beginning through now. So if you go back in and you watch some of those, that'll kind of catch you up on some of the some of the different things and different side effects and um, all that kind of stuff, you know, that's been going on. So that's kind of kind of do it for now. This is my Manjaro. I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep saying Manjaro. My Zep Bound week 10 6 7 8 week 9 week 9 in review full review because the other way was half a week i'm gonna have to check i don't even know anymore um but this is my second week on on zet bound and um we're down about a pound ish not quite but it's kind of the same pound as last week. It's kind of just been going back and forth. Um, and that's that's about it for that. So I will check back in with you guys next week. I'm trying to get into like a, a more regular timing. But now that I'm doing my shots on Sunday, that kind of messed me up a little bit. Because normally I would do my week in review on Wednesday. Um and that's really Wednesday is my like good day to do it. My husband's not home after dinner and I don't have to worry about what everybody else is kind of doing. But now with my shots being on Sunday, that's kind of inconvenient. So I don't know. And I might change the shot. I'm going to have to wait until I get towards the end of the week to see how things are going. If I stop feeling like there's too much hunger and stuff, then I might go back to Friday, which was my original like trying to get to I started on Tuesday then I was at Thursday then I got to Friday um and then this week I I waited it out until Sunday so I did the 10 days before I go um the cliff bars oh my god no <laughs> they're just they're not good I had to force myself to eat it and normally I I wouldn't I hate to throw things away especially spending that much money on stuff um but I forced myself to do it because it was during the testing. I told you that we're doing testing at school and I was testing a student. So I was in a room for three hours. I, like I wasn't leaving this room. And um, that was going to be, you know, my breakfast. That was my protein for the for the morning. And I was like, oh, I mean, I just I, I made myself finish it because I had to get in the morning protein and I didn't have any other options because I wasn't I wasn't leaving that room. But it was not good. It just wasn't good. It was like eating oatmeal that you had kind of mushed together into everything and had like no other flavor. I don't know. It just wasn't great. I was not impressed by them at all. The elevation was a thousand, a thousand times better. So I think the Cliff Bars, I'll actually just put like on the local Facebook group or I'll drop them off at the food pantry when my son volunteers tomorrow and um or maybe even if I crush them up on top of a yogurt or something 
but I don't know. I'm curious if you guys have anything. And I know I've had some comments about the sugar in some of these bars, and I get that too. And um, I had commented back to some viewers who I appreciate the comments. Don't stop the comments just because I don't agree with what you say. Please keep commenting. I read them. I take everything that you say, um, you know, into, into effect. But I realize that there's sugar. I'm not diabetic. And nine grams of sugar at, you know, for my breakfast whole morning situation, I'm okay with because I'm not putting a lot of sugar in throughout the day other than like yesterday when I had, um, you know, I had cake, then I didn't have a protein bar. So if I, you know, if I had something else sugary, I'm not, so I'm still not going over that 30 to 35 grams of sugar that, you know, is in kind of our target range there. So um, I realize that there's sugar. And if that's something that you have a concern with, then please obviously read the sugar on the protein, um, the protein bars. So yeah, I think that's just about going to do it for today. I'm going to try to get myself back on track and um, making better decisions for the rest of the week. I hope you are all having a wonderful, fantabulous week. I hope that if you are somewhere besides New England, that the weather is looking bright and sunny for you all. Thank you all so much for being here. Go and check out the playlist below and um, like this video if you found it even the slightest, remotest bit um, enjoyable or helpful. Please, please, please consider going and subscribing to this channel. It really would help me out a lot with um, what we're trying to accomplish here, as would the likes and shares. So I think that's about going to do it for tonight, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. We'll see you next time. Bye.